Exit the traffic circle onto US 89. We are on US 89 North. Continue on US 89 for 74 miles. Headed to Kanab, Utah. So beautiful through here with the red rocks. The Colorado River is to the left. We'll be crossing it up here. Definitely want to come and visit this area when it's not so hot. It's supposed to be 97 today. So, nope. <laughs> Trying to get away from the heat. We're going to the Flaming Gorge, which is supposed to be in the 70s. I think Monday it's supposed to be 73 and continue in the 70s for the extended forecast. I'm traveling with Bruce, Terry, and Scott. Getting ready to cross over the Glen Canyon Dam, which is the Colorado River. To the right up there, it's the Carl's Hayden Welcome Center, I believe. Somewhere around here. I think that's it right there to the right. Oh wow, I wish I could show y'all that. The canyon is beautiful. There's a lot of boats in this area. Elevation is 3,827 feet. Mile marker 550. Wowie Marina. Lakeshore Drive, a quarter mile. Right here to the left is camping. We could have actually camped there last night. I forgot about that. And the last time we were here, it was completely full. Doesn't look full this time. There's the Glen Canyon Recreational Area. It is a paid site. So you have to pay to get in there. That's where a lot of people go boating. Look at that view. Isn't that stunning? Up, up we go. Hello? Yes? So we have to come up here and visit uh, when it cools down. Definitely. I forgot about that camping back there. You remember where Bex and them camped? Yeah. Well, Patty and I are going to camp down on the lake. Yeah. That's paid, but... Oh, wait. <laughs> I was trying to tell you that last night that this is where we went in that free camp where you wanted to go and it was cold, remember? Yeah, right back there on the hillside. Yeah. So, and, like, you guys could... If you guys wanted to park up there, Teddy and I would probably pay to go down the D actually on the roadway. Right. Um, so just there. Just because we've been wanting to do it for so long. Well, there's one up here that's free, isn't there, that you can park on the lake? No. There's no, there's no places that you can go and get it. So look, there's one place back there where a guy gives you directions how to get to the cliff, but there's no heat. Oh, okay. And then down here, you pay to go in, um, and then you can camp, but you have to pay for camping too. Oh, okay. Um, but you remember... You can, like, swim in 20 feet. It's amazing out there. It is. Um, you remember there was uh, a spot, didn't we camp up here to the, on the left? It was, like, way up here. Yeah, Patty and I pulled in there to wait for you, and we ended up spending the night there. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. I was but just... That's about, it's about 30 minutes from here. Yeah. And then it's about 30 minutes to come out. Okay. So, so... From that point. Right. Yeah. When it... It's just so hot. It's 97 degrees. It's supposed to be 97. But it, when it cools down... Well, maybe, like you said, when on our way back from up north, we can come this way and def yeah. definitely camp so here. Right, yeah. So right here... 
And then you can go down the camping tent and get the water and there's a uh, restaurant at something down the concession or something. At the marina, this is the north entrance. Yeah, for a recreation area. Yeah. So we just, we just passed it. Right. But yeah, we were definitely going to go down there and camp because we were wanting to do that. Yeah. Uh -oh. I do too. What? Oh yeah, that's or either he's just pulled over for a reason. No, they just oh, pulled over. Yeah. Okay, good deal. Alright. Okie dokie. Okay. See ya next stop. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. So this lake is the Lake Powell area and all those canyons right there are right before the Grand Canyon. So this leads down into the Grand Canyon. It's not as deep as the Grand Canyon here, but the canyon just st are still beautiful. Momo is passed out in the air conditioning. Sleep, 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 sleep. Well, that was a short trip. Welcome to Utah. Life elevated. Nice. Welcome to Utah. Well, thank you, Beverly. It's so nice to be in a different state. I've been in Arizona most of the season <laughs> since, what was it, October? Ugh. So yeah, it's definitely good to be back on the road and going to a different state. I love the rock formations in Utah. So beautiful and huge. Amazing what water can carve out. Well, we've made it to the Kanab Visitor Center. They used to have a teepee right out in that field. It's gone. I took a picture the last time I was here, me and Moo Moo. Look at that view up there. That's beautiful. And there are some cabins back here. It's part of this hotel. There's a lot more than the last time we were here. Right, Moo Moo? Right? <laughs>
All right, we're getting back on the road. Terry and Scott are at the gas station. So let's pull over here, wait for them to get done. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Sage Trail. Off-road 190. Take the next right onto South 100 East. wonder what that means, off-road 190, $1.90. Oh, it's green, go. Continue for 67 miles. Okie dokie. Canab is actually a cute little town. Well, not that part. Um, as you go further ahead, it, it is a cute little town. Probably should have gotten gas, because I'm almost to half a tank. We've got 266 miles to go. But I'm sure... I'll come across another gas station, and plus, Nab is kind of a touristy area, so gas is a little more expensive here. It's two forty-nine a gallon to two forty-eight. It's so pretty through here. Yeah, this is where we camped out. Remember? Yeah, on yeah. The yep, on the river to the left. We camped right. here last year with Bex and um, Ren. Yep, the wind climbed these hills on the left side. Yep. Oh yeah, she did climb up those hills. So, I definitely want to come back this way when we come back, because this is so pretty. And well, we are definitely coming back, Scotty and I are, because we want to go through the town. We've never walked through the town. Right. Canab? Yeah, and we want to stay on the beach down at um, Lake Powell. Okay. So, hopefully, I don't know, I don't know the temperatures around here, but hopefully September will be cooler. <laughs> right, yeah, September I think it will be cooler. It is lower yeah. elevation, but hopefully, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at the water! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's the water. Oh, it's actually full this time. Remember how low yeah. it was before? Um, so I might, I might have to, I'm a little over half a tank, I, w I was going to fill up and I decided not to, so I might have to stop and get some gas. Okay, well, up there, um, we're Scotty and I turned around, came back to Scotty and I turned around to rescue with that last time when she was stuck in the pants. Uh-huh. There's a huge gas station up there. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So just pull up, pull in and we'll pull up. Okie dokie. Okay, bye. Bye. It is really pretty through here. So we camped, it's right up here to the left. Um, along the cliffs here is a river. And we camped right by the river. It was actually fun. Very sandy there, but fun. Looks all green. It's just too hot right now. Don't want to be in 97 degree weather and have to run your AC all the time. Alright, onward bound. Look at all the cool clouds. 
trying to see if I see anything in the clouds. Let me know in the comments below if you see anything. Mm, I'm not really seeing too much. We just reached the summit of 6,000 feet. Now there's a 6% downgrade. State Park ahead. I believe that's the Sand Dunes Park. Yep, Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park. Maybe when we come back this way, when it's cooler, it'll be nice to stop there. 12 miles down that road to the left. Remember that valley? It was so pretty. Oh, motorcycle. Wow, look how green it is. They are watering it, but nice and green. Coming into Orderville. Been through here before. There's just kind of a general store. Actually, it's a rock shop. Need to buy a rock? They've got you. <laughs> the Orderville Mine. Oh, they even have a family teller here. The rock stop. A lot of rocks here. Definitely gonna stop in a lot of these towns and take a look around when I head back towards the property. Maybe I can find something interesting to put on the property. Even though it's just last year we came through here, some of this just doesn't look familiar. I don't remember it being this green. Maybe it was. It's really beautiful to be here. Yeah, it's definitely really beautiful through here. We have about 20 miles to go till we turn. But we're gonna stay on 89 North. I've actually never been this far, because we had already turned off by now. When we were heading to Washington, I think we took a left and went through the mountains. That's when we hit the snow, and we all were able to play in the snow. To the left, that does look like a big storm cloud. Look at the beautiful mountains in the distance. Oh, we're coming into a town. Never been through this town before. Hatch. Established in 1934. Oh. Cute little town. Cabins for rent. $65 a night. One block ahead on the right. Coffee House Country Store. Hatch Station. Oh, there's the cabins. Huh? I've seen better. Kind of cute. Alright, not too much, I guess. It's an antique shop. A church. Wow, that's a Patriotic antique shop. Log cabin and painted red, white, and blue. You can tell it's rained here. The ground or the road is wet. Outlaw Saloon. Looks busy. <laughs> Bryce Zion Inn. Ooh, that is not pretty. Reminds me of something from the 70s. Really see Bryce. I guess you can take helicopter rides. Helicopter! Helicopter, helicopter. Please calm down. Okay, I think that's the extent of the 
town. Hatch. Riverside Ranch RV Park. Oh, they got a TP out there. RV and motel. Wow, if I ever got a second piece of property, it would be here. It's so beautiful. Terry and I were just discussing it. Look at the stream. It's a wide stream right there. More like a river, actually. It does get narrow in certain spots. It is absolutely gorgeous through here. And the weather is nice. 77 degrees. Wow. Yep, I need a plot right there, right by the river. <laughs> so I think that I wish that I had, although I don't like lake property. Whoa, what is this person doing? You need to be careful there, sucker. Um, I don't like lake property because still water usually equals mosquitoes. But if it's running water, so yeah, I would love property by a river. Love, 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 love. And it's really beautiful out here. Gotta love Utah. There's 12 East that leaves, leads to Bryce Canyon. I think also the Grand Staircase. Never visited there before. Definitely do want to go. Maybe when we come back. Salt Lake City is 252 miles from here. Wow, it's not that bad. So we've got about six and a half miles till our turn. Wow, what are those? Oh. Some kind of... Oh, it's a motel. It's an unusual looking motel. Hmm. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different buildings. And also the restaurant and bar. Pretty neat. Hello? This is a cute town. Pang balloon glow. I know, they're having a balloon glow tomorrow. I know. Panguitch. Tomorrow. This is called Panguitch. Um, Panguitch? Pang, with a P. Panguitch. Panguitch. Okay, so our destination is... Um, it's... What is it? Oh, is this a four-way stop? Yeah, it is. Our destination is 199 miles away. <laughs> okay, well, where's Bruce, though? He's up. He's probably about four miles ahead of us. Do you want to stop here, or do you want to just keep on going? Oh, where was the yoga? Well, at? let's stop and see what's going on. they got a band going on here and everything. Okay, so where do you... You just want to pull over on the side of the road? Where do you want to pull over at? Yeah, let's pull over and see what we got going on. Okay, I'm going to... I'm not going to pull over front of this motel. I'm going to pull up here a little bit. Okay. Okay, All right. let me call him back. Bye. Bye. Okay, Terry and Scott want to stop here and look around, I guess. Okay. Um, let me find somewhere back in that town. Yeah, Penguitch. Okay, I'm going to turn around here somewhere and I'll meet you guys. Just tell me where you end up at. Okay, I'm just pulled over on the side of the road for now. So, I will. Okay, I'll see you in about, it's probably be about 10, 15 minutes. I must have been farther ahead of you. I've been in a construction zone for like 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, um, we're by the Bryce Canyon Motel. Okay, I'll Google it. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. What are the local temps? The current temperature there is 76 degrees. Wow, it feels wonderful here. It's so chilly. It'd be nice to go for a little walk, just to stretch our legs and stuff. Oh, look at the pre-built cabins across the street. So here's a little information about Pinguich. Welcome to Pinguich, a heritage community culture. If you want to pause and read. They have the 
Balloon Festival this weekend. This is some of the events that are going on here. Whoa! Look at that awning. I could do that on the um, container. Yeah. That's cool. That's so cool. Look at all the eyeballs. The tree is staring at me. Eyeballs. So there's Kenny Ray's restaurant and Cowboy Smokehouse Cafe. I think we'll try that one. That one definitely looks interesting. Here's some information about Cowboy Smokehouse Cafe if you want to pause and read. The cow ranch and flagstaff I put before. This time, because it's. John Wayne says it's open. It says, hey you, yes you, with the camera. <laughs> Don't forget to tag us in your pic. So that's it at Wanderlust Cowgirl Coffee and at Cowboys Smokehouse Steak House. The wait is about five to ten minutes. They're pretty busy in there. Ooh, hand scooped ice cream next. Ooh, look. Luxury. That historic motel has colored cable TV that's some old stuff right there look at all the buckles they're all awards grand champion oh cool oh my gosh they've got a lot yeah look at all of them so look they give you a four percent discount on cash this is their menu right here thank you thank you a steak, some more wings. I got the country fried steak with mashed potatoes and beans. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Looks good. Sweet potato and ribeye steak. Jeez, that's huge. That will be lunch and dinner tomorrow. That's huge. Or no, I'll make us. I'll make us. Oh, thank you, ma'am. I'll make us uh, sandwiches tomorrow. Can you tell it was good? I finished my plate. Nothing left. Look at that, isn't that cool? Oh, I'm definitely full. We're gonna go ahead and get back on the road. We have about, I think, less than 200 miles to go. I wanna end the video here, because it's gonna be a long one. I wanna thank y'all for hanging out with me. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now.